In this week's video, I want to look at the exhaust diameter calculator that I've done for strikeengine.com. There's a link to the calculator in the video description. So well, the only thing you need to do is put in the uh, horsepower and the calculator will split out the uh, recommended internal diameter of the exhaust in inches, millimeters. It'll give you the area as well if you need that for some reason, square inches, square millimeters, square feet. And it will also give you the exhaust velocity for that horsepower uh, with that diameter, which is also very important. So where do the calculations for this calculator come from? They come from a book that Corky Bell has done. It's the legendary book called Maximum Boost. If you haven't got it, I highly recommend you getting it if you can find it. There's a link to eBay there. You can see the latest listings. So that's where the calculations come from originally. And I've also added an alternative calculator, which is slightly tweaked the Corky Bell calculator to take into consideration a video that Moto Trend has done, but I'll deal with that later. So you just put in your horsepower here. So if you just bang in 400 and it'll spit out exhaust gas velocity, the di recommended diameter, inches, millimeters. Looking at the diameter alone is not enough. We also need to look at the uh, exhaust velocity. Now, Corky Bell in his book states that should not should be less than 250 feet per second. So if you bang in 400, it gives a diameter of 2.4 inches, so 2.5 inches that'll be, with an exhaust velocity of 312, which is above the 250 limit. So what I've done with a calculator, I've added another section here, which is plus 20% on the diameter. And if we do that for the 400 horsepower that we put in earlier, it gives us an uh, exhaust velocity of 216, which is inside the 250, which is okay, and an exhaust diameter of uh, 2.9 inches. So we'll have to go to the uh, next standard size, which would be uh, 76 millimeters or uh, three inches. That is basically what the calculator does. You just put in the, the power and it gives you the dimensions. Uh, and below the calculator then, I just put in some background information on the book Maximum Boost. It was published in uh, 1997. And I've just added another bit of texture just explaining why he could be a bit conservative on his uh, diameters. And after that, I put in some information on downpipes. I put a link to a couple of sites that talk about downpipes down and uh, their opinions on it. And I think the long story short is when it comes to downpipes, the bigger the better. I've also gone on and put a bit about a head of primary diameters and some testing that was done by a company on a 4G63 motor, that is an interesting read. Basically, it shows why, well, an exhaust manifold, at least bigger, is not always better. And then I put a disclaimer in. I should have said this at the start, but all the calculators at yourfinalstrikeengine.com are a guide only. They should not be taken as gospel. But if I go on to this Moto Trend exhaust test, which I've also done an article on, link to it in the video description, and this is what they found. So the 2.5 inch exhaust made uh, 601 horsepower the three inch made 614 horsepower so it's a two percent difference and it was a three percent difference between the two diameters on torque and if we compare the 2.5 versus uh, the open headers that they were using it's a five percent down on power and the three inch exhaust was uh, only two percent down on power so their conclusion was that the 2.5 inch is a restriction and the three inch exhaust is probably the optimum if we put this into the alternate calculator on the exhaust calculator page, which is the, the Corky Bell one, but I've just made a small tweak to the formulas. Again, it's given us a 2.5 standard diameter, which is uh, too small. And I've also lowered the uh, foot per second with this tweaked uh, formula. So that's going to be too small at 2.5. And if we increase it at 20%, it gives us 156 feet per second, which is below our new threshold of 190 feet per second. And it gives us a diameter of three inches. So this is more in line with the, the Motor Trend article. Personally, I think if you take the plus 20% from the alternate and the plus 20% from the original Corky Bell one, I think you're going to be in the ballpark. As always, I hope you found the video helpful. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. Please vote. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you again in the next video.